G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. In this video, I'm going to adjust the valves in my RMX 450Z. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, now the fuel tank and seat and things are removed, we can get access to the top of this motor. It's simply just pull the spark plug, um, cap, the cap off there, remove this out of the way because it was sort of protruding. We need to take this uh, rocker cover, um, cam cover off. So uh, we'll just get that off. Now with that um, cam cover off, you can see your cams. It's got, this cam here is for your inlet and it has two buckets under this cam and the exhaust is to the front obviously where your exhaust is and it also has two buckets underneath this cam, these cam lugs. So you need to find top dead centre and that's what these markers here are for and you also need to take this off because this section here needs to be lined up and take this one off so that you can turn the engine to get it to the point where you need it to be so we'll do that now okay to get the time in there's a little notch here you probably won't see and there's a, a thing here on your magneto and it will line up with that and there's also um, little pins here and they need to line up in a certain way if you come over to my laptop here, I have a full workshop manual for this bike downloaded and it shows you how to get the, um, the timing on this bike. Um, where is it? And this here is the, there's the C, there's a D and, and an E on the chain. An F on the chain, um, they probably won't say F, it'll just be a painted hole. And one there and also here which has to be lined up like that and those, those ones there need to line up so let's go do that okay that's top dead center you can see you probably might might not but you see the little notches on the edge here and there's another one just on the inside there on that magneto they must line up and you must have these lining up as it was on the uh, on the computer there you got one there that's painted one there painted there and the other one is down there so that those two that line up here and the two that go to the top and this bike should be top dead center okay I've got this diagram this diagram drawn up here these two ones here are for your exit which are these two and these two here are your inlets those two here the picture pretty much shows that that's the exhaust valves that's inlet and this here is just like this so you know which way your bike is facing because this section here is to be the cam chain so that it, there's no confusion now if you go over to my laptop and it says the inlet clearances and the specs for the inlet and exhaust that's what I have written here so that I now check to see what I have got and if they're within spec or not within spec so we'll go to the bike and check those. Okay, the, the inlet needs to be between 0 0.09 and 0 0.16. I've got a 0 0.13, which is probably about the middle of that one's range. If I can get this camera to balance, which isn't very easy. Alright. Point one three is just a tiny bit tight. Just a tiny bit tight on point one three. I'll try point one zero, which is still in spec, just. That fits in easy. So it's a little bit loose. 
it's probably 0.11. So I can, I'm going to call both inlets 0.11. So the inlets are still in spec, just. Now we try the exhaust, which is between 0.17 and 0.24. So I'll try, it would be in the middle, 0.20. Start there at 0.20. Yeah, balance camera. Yep, that one's still in spec. So is this one. <laughs> Bike's still in spec. Friggin' it's done 2000 Ks almost. Well, that's in spec. I'm calling that 0.20. Okay, I was going to do a valve adjustment, but um, this is just a valve check video now because the bike's done almost 2,000 k's and has never been out of uh, out of um, out of adjustment. So, uh, good bike. Um, if you hear any strange noises through the video, it's just my snoring dog. Okay, you've been snoring the whole video, mate. What's going on? Yeah. Look at ya, you've got a face only a mother could love. So thanks for watching.